Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're gonna be doing a lot of things to the M3. So I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a little bit. Hopefully, this video is lengthy enough for you guys. Um, basically, just finished my finals, turned in my last paper yesterday. Um, so yeah, well, not yesterday. Technically, I'm saying it in terms. This is nor in the future making this intro. But yeah, basically, everything got situated, and uh, we are good to go, ready to make vlogs, ready to go back to building the M3 properly. So yeah, I'm gonna pretty much gonna show you guys everything that's gonna go on in this video. Um, we're gonna be, uh, I got in a few packages for you guys. We're gonna be wrapping the M3 a little bit, and we're also gonna be doing a road trip. But before we get into any of that, I just wanna give a huge shout out to some of you guys. I don't know if you guys saw, but the GoFundMe that I started for the paint job that you guys wanted to support me with actually went insane. We actually achieved our goal, which is crazy. So shout out to you guys. But I wanna give a huge, huge shout out to one of you guys because this guy went a lightweight crazy. So first off, shout out to Nephi uh, Burnell. Thank you so much for the gen uh, the donation. I appreciate it so much. So yeah, then I get then I get a notification from Jeremy Hall. This dude out of nowhere, he's like, bam, donation, bam, donation, bam, donation, and then bam, like all over the place. All right, and I'm just like, what is going on? And then pretty much I get a notification saying GoFundMe has been completed. Congratulations. I'm like, whoa, 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 like. We weren't even like we were we were halfway, but we weren't there yet. So anyways, Jeremy Hall pretty much killed it. I appreciate it so much. He's been asking for t-shirts and stuff for the you know the hashtag save me and W. So as soon as I get those out, I'll be sending you one for free because you are absolutely insane. You're you're just killing it. Make sure to DM me on Instagram, by the way. I, I followed you, I tried finding you, I followed you to thank you personally, and uh, it doesn't look like you're you are you are hitting me back up. So hit me back up, man. But anyways, I feel like the 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 past me is about to hit you guys with the small uh, sponsor video. Here is your advertisement. Now I'm kidding. <laughs> Basically, guys, what's going on? A um, little bit of an abrupt stop, mainly because I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Creator. Um, basically, I, a lot of companies reach out, to, reach out to me. They want me to review their things, and normally I say no. I'm not interested, especially things that are pretty cheap like this. So I normally don't review things like this. But they went ahead and they said, "Well, well, you know, sponsor the video as well." So they went ahead and funded the video, which I completely appreciate that. But I told them I'm going to be giving them my honest opinion. I'm no longer doing that stuff where they send me out a product that. I say it's great if you guys are rebuilding cars you guys know you still need to pass smog brake in line all this stuff this thing actually lets you know after your battery died after doing something you know uh battery related anything like that anything to do with the battery it resets all your ecu all your modules and you need to make sure that all those are back up and running before smog so as you guys can see all my systems are ready very easy to get to you basically just get out of here real quick i just click on okay on imd readiness just click the first option and bam, it comes up with all the stuff. Now it's all saying okay and diagnosis things pretty fairly easy. It gives you a general code and can clear code. So for the price, I'm gonna be honest saying it's not that bad. And it has a pretty good amount of features for, uh, for the price range. Boy 50. Straight lines through here. A lot of them had scoring, like there, there. Usually you don't see the scoring like that. That's some dirt getting in there. All right. Um, Vicky, whoa. Upper, lower, one, two, eight. Okay, cool. So you gave me the green light saying that the engine previously by the previous owner was taken care of very well. So obviously that's a really good sign for me. Uh, that means, you know, I have a bigger peace of mind driving the car around. The only thing he did notice is a little bit of like scratches, a little bit of like something like debris, something was in the engine scratching the rod bearings. So he's like, just make sure you keep up on your oil changes. I will get everything lubricated, get everything cleaned out. And over time that should, you know, wear out. Uh, but yeah, I'm just happy we got all this stuff done. We should be good to go uh, for another at least 60,000 miles with nothing major breaking down on us. Uh, which is obviously a really good thing uh, because you know your boy after this he's gonna be saving up Got to pay back a few things, but hopefully we can get this down to LA for you guys and you will enjoy it because uh, I know I will Yeah, and they don't know that I got me and they don't say that we are free Living a life where we gon' be whatever we wanna be Yeah, and they don't know For the greatness, it's a message about patience What it really takes to make this Working on a day-to-day -day basis No free spaces, can't afford to sit back and watch When someone else in this world is trying to take my spot And I know that I'll be just fine Every day it seems I just... Also, by the way, guys, for those of you guys who are uh, commenting down below I don't know what an M5 is 
I said E39. I think it should be enough credit for that. I knew it was an M5, but I misspoke. I am fasting, so I'm a little bit, you know, my words don't match with what my brain is saying sometimes. But obviously, if I said E39, you guys should be like, oh, if he knows that, obviously, it's an, you know, he knows it's an M5. Um, I said it's an M3. I knew it was an M car. I knew it was an E39, so obviously, I meant M5. So for those of you guys that were criticizing me too hard, give me a break here. Why do I feel lost in this? Yeah, they don't know that yeah, I got me. And they don't say that we are free. Living a life where we gon' be. Whatever we wanna be, yeah. And they don't know that I got me. And they don't see that we are free. Living a life where we gon' be. Whatever we wanna be, yeah, yeah. Also, I did the rod bearings. These are my engine mounts. Dear heavens. <laughs> oh my lord. The engine didn't even vibrate that much, but like sometimes I would just notice that the whole car is shaking. Oh, oh my god, that's just completely broken. Yeah, these are these are done. Wow. Yep, so it was worth doing. <laughs> oh yes, damn. Like damn. That's cool. I've actually never seen inside of this. Is that like a filter? What is that? Of sorts. You never sleep at night. Every step you take and fall would always take you down a flight. People praying on your downfall approach you so polite, like it's so strange, so strange. I can always feel it, but can never name the feeling now. So strange. I can always feel Now that is what I'm talking about boys. You got some packages in. I'm pretty sure I know what those are. I'll let you guys know what these are in a second. Go ahead and open these stuffies. black ones pop up two of them actually oh damn I think I know who I want to give these to I have a friend of mine who has a lime green uh, M3 I think you'll be really happy with some of these these are the v2 air scoops a friend of mine made yeah made he 3d printed these and uh, I had them on my 330 after about two years it did warp a little bit but just warp didn't crack really good quality I always continue to support this guy because he's always making new things and I respect him for that he's hustling I appreciate that um, so yeah whenever he has new products I'm more than happy to show you guys what he has and at the same time he's giving back to you guys with these air scoops definitely gonna be rocking one of these for Beamer Fest I'm gonna try to look for a yellow in here or a blue and I rock that because I'm trying to get either a Nardo gray and yellow theme or a Nardo gray and blue theme but yeah there's about one two three four five Five, six, seven, about seven boxes. I'm gonna keep one for myself, give one to my friend if he doesn't have one, and give one to Jonathan, cause you know, your boy needs one with his stock looking 325i. So then I'll have about four left, four to five. So then I'll be giving away all those to you guys in future videos, don't worry about that. This could be mine as well. Hell boy, I can't see the rest of the rap for this country. Oh yeah, yeah. I appreciate that man. <laughs> Okay, the FedEx driver completely cut me off, but I'm super stoked. So actually, I'm not heading off to the barrier just yet. So you guys don't even know what's going on. You guys don't know what's going on. It's gonna be a little bit of an adventure today. So basically, I'm heading over to my cousin's place. Um, he has a little bit of a business stuff, so we're gonna go talk about it. I wanna go down to the Bay Area anyways, get some sick pics of the M3. I don't know if you guys can see it out there. But I was a little bit upset. I was a little bit upset. I was like, I have to, I have to bring this to him. The first time I'm ever gonna show him. You know, it's beautiful and all, but on this side, it's still all uh, black and it's disgusting. Scratches everywhere. I wanted to get that wrap before I see him, but they said the wrap's gonna come on the 22nd. I think they rush shipped it because I did argue with them on the phone. I was like, yo guys, it's been like three weeks. They said they finally got it in stock two days ago and I, I told them like, I really need this wrap. 
So they said it's gonna be here on the 20th, and I was like, okay, whatever, but it looks like they did rush ship it. I got it. So the only thing that's not gonna be wrapped is the rear bumper. It's gonna put on the M badge. We're gonna be wrapping the door in this video. I'm gonna wrap the side mirror, and then still, I got a lot of things to show you guys. Really, really jam-packed video, guys. A lot of things came in today, and for example, the wrap boys, I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, let me see if I can focus that in there. Oof, oh my lord. So the wrap came in, which means our baby is gonna be finally wrapped up. So. My cousin's gonna be seeing the car for the first time. I think we should let him see a good, uh, you know, a good impression of it, besides the rear bumper, of course. So let's go ahead, get the car in the garage. I'm gonna call up one of my cousins, see if they can help me. I'm gonna wrap the door, wrap the mirror. So at least pretty much all the car, but the rear bumper is complete. And we wrap the rear bumper in another video. Uh, I'm gonna head down to the Bay Area, talk to him about a few things. We're gonna see if the car can make it down there after you guys know the rod bearings and everything. So I wanted to do this little short two hour trip. It's not really short, but it's a good enough trip to see if everything is running properly, if anything's gonna break on me on the way there, on the way back, it's about four hours in total. So I'll be able to test the car and see if everything is running off, if everything is perfectly fine, because you guys know LA is about seven hours from where I live. It's a long drive. It's not gonna be, you know, something I wanna push a car if I've never even, you know, pushed it before. So I'm gonna be testing it out in this video, and also when we get there, I'm gonna be taking a few pictures. I'm gonna bring all my gear, I'm gonna take a little cinematic thing, get some six shots, and thankfully now we get to get some six shots of the whole front end, um, other than the rear, because the rear is not gonna be wrapped. But I try to get as much of the front end clips as possible. And yeah, it should be a pretty exciting video. Finally taking the M3 on a road trip, finally getting some sick pictures, finally getting the cinematic. We're doing a giveaway. So yeah, without further ado, and we're wrapping the car, without further ado, let's just get into it. Look, baby's gonna come together. So as you guys can see also, I have this little thing there. This one's missing. So yeah, I pretty much placed the order on that, which was $60. You know, there's little things like this, guys. $60, because good luck finding it anywhere else. So yeah, that's the life I chose. One thought, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead, take off this mirror, and then remove this mirror cap. It'll be doing this side right here. I did look at it. I'm not the biggest fan of it all being completely black. To be honest with you guys, the Nardo gray with the black just looks really good in my opinion. I hope you guys can understand that. So yeah, I'm gonna take off the mirror. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this trimming right here. Um, my friend told me that you don't actually have to remove the door panel on the E92s. So the E90s, you have to remove the door panel. On the E92s, apparently you could just remove the speaker here. Let me see if I can do that real quick. Ah, I don't wanna mess it up with one hand. But basically, you remove the speaker, they can take out the bolts of the mirror, and then you just go over here, and you get the door handle out, and bam, you don't have to even remove the door, hand, the, the, the door panel, which is pretty dope. Also, a little thing here, guys. Why is my, uh, you guys can see, it's like a little gap there. I don't know why. I opened it up, I tried figuring it out. I don't really, I can't really understand why there's a gap there. Anyways, probably should figure that out later. Damn, the car is super dirty. <sighs> we'll have to clean it up before Beamer Fest, boys, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and remove this door handle, this mirror, this trim, clean it up, get it wrapped up. Okay, so please tell me I got some of that footage where I took off the mirror and everything. I think I went full retard, I forgot to click the, the, the record button. So anyways, we removed all the trimming here, the mirror, the door handle. Let's go ahead, wash all this down. Just a quick little rinse with some alcohol, and then uh, go ahead and start wrapping it. Not everything's meant to be shared. Look, it's for anyone out there going through a hard time, I got you. Just know you on my mind. Part of me never leaves, and part of me never grows. Part of me never sees everything I'm ever told. Too caught up trying to purchase gold that I forgot what it really meant to be whole. Like, yeah, I wish I listened, little mo mama. I wish I understood the struggle in the world, mama. I wish I helped around the crib a little mo mama. I wish we fought a little less, man. I hate drama, but I gotta realize the right of lessons, the lessons you teach yourself through progression and all these sessions. Finally, I've been getting what it means to be a man goes deeper than private respect and building up your fam understand that money can't bring you love and money can't set you free from all that holds you back all right guys i am happy to say that this thing went on great had no issues whatsoever pretty much got it tucked in all the way around underneath the seals got the mirror back on i was going to go ahead and do this mirror cap and do ahead, go ahead and do the mirror, the, the handle and everything there. Once we get all that done, throw back the whole door, we should be good to go, honestly. I'd be really happy if the rest of this stuff just goes by quick because I'm trying to get to the Bay Area ASAP. And then of course, we'll do the rear bumper another day. But in the meantime, your boy did cheap out. 
um, to get an M badge because these M badges are seventy dollars at BMW when I went there. Which is I think it was sixty dollars, sixty dollars. Yeah, but it's very expensive. This is like pretty much it looks exact same, just not as high quality. I'm hoping it is good enough to where it at least stick on there, and at least we have the M badge on there. I'm really curious, guys. Should I throw on the three twenty three CI badge? I have this M three badge. Let me go sh go ahead and show you guys what I mean by the other one. All right, guys. So I don't know if you guys remember when I had my three third my uh, my three twenty three CI E thirty six. So I had an E36 convertible, um, I think it was an E36. I don't know, I bought this batch for one of my, or the E40, I think it was the E46. I bought this batch for one of my cars from BMW. Uh, yeah, it says E46 right there. Um, and uh, this is the OEM BMW one. I'm, I'm thinking about rocking this instead of this. I bet you guys' fingers are going out of that unsubscribe button. <laughs> I have an idea where it's kind of cool. Um, it's basically, you know, I always tell you guys, remember to stay humble, how everybody who owns a 323 or a 330i or a 335 ends up putting like an M3 badge because they want an M3. And what do you guys think if I just don't put a badge at all, or I put a 323 CI badge on here? Obviously it's an M3, but I put that on there, um, just like a little humble thing, you know? Makes it look like, you know, I don't care if I'm driving an M3. I mean, I, I lightweight do, but you know, it's kind of like a cool, humble thing. I feel like it's kind of dope. A little signature touch on my M3, it's a 323 CI. Um, clearly it's an M3, looks like an M3, it says M3 everywhere else. But the rear badge, should I put 323CI? You guys let me know if you want to see that in Beamer Fest. It'd be kind of funny. Um, if not, just let me know. We won't do that. So down in the comments. I'm thinking about this putting this M3 badge on for now. And if it doesn't stick on right, I'll go ahead and buy one OEM from BMW. Anyways, we got to get to work. Let's go ahead and do that mirror cap, and then we'll do the door handles. Never leaves, and part of me never grows. Part of me never sees. Everything I'm ever told. Too caught up trying to purchase gold. I'm going to go ahead and clean this off camera. What really meant to be whole. Like, yeah. I wish I listened little more, mama. I wish I understood the struggle in the world, mama. I wish I helped around the crib a little more, mama. I wish we a little less, man. I hate drama, but I gotta realize the right of lessons. The lessons you teach yourself through progression and all these sessions. Finally, I've been getting what it means to be a man. Goes deeper than private respect and building up your fam. Understand that money can't bring you love and money can't set you free from all that holds you back in a world filled with greed. Love what you got and cherish every moment. Even when I'm gone, I will always be a poet. Alright guys, and before I head out, I just want to show you guys this real quick actually. It's looking so good. Hopefully we can get it on the light for you guys. We'll see it in the Bay Area. Looks really, really, really good. I'm actually going to post a tweet, so if any of you guys in the Bay Area guys want to check it out in person before Beamer Fest, you can. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stop on the M badge for now because I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna have to get an OEM one I just remembered when I get the car painted. So uh, for the meantime, I'll stop this on for now. And then when we take it off, and while I'm waiting to get um, the actual M badge, I'll throw this on by then. So you guys let me know what you guys think about that. But also, before we head out, I, I don't like this little flaw. I don't know if you guys can see the wrap is slightly peeling from the bottom of this bumper. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all that off and put a new layer down there to make it look, you know, and also you can see more black of the bumper. I wanna cover all that up. So let's go ahead and just cover all that before we head out. It's more than talent from what y'all can see. I know all of you peep that. I'm just trying to grow. Someone tell me where the seeds at. Appreciate the love. All right, guys, no badge. And that's how it looks after. So uh, I think it looks pretty good. I, I don't know if that's how it normally looks, but I think it looks pretty good. So, uh, yep, we got the badges on there. We got the doors done. We got the side mirrors done. We got the door handles done. We got the front bumper done. I think we're ready to head out, boys. Let me just go ahead and wash up. All right, guys, packing up my bag. Pretty much everything that I need. Um, just a little bit of clothes, my laptop, stuff like that. Go ahead and bring my suitcase with all my camera gear because we need to get some sick photos. You guys are probably wondering what happened to my uh, thingy McBobber that sits here. Let's just say oil dumped all over the trunk, so I have to get rid of that. That kind of sucks. All right, guys, so first off, we gotta go to the gas station and then we gotta go ahead. Ah, oh, man, who's calling me? All right, anyways, guys, my bad. So basically, see if I can get this. I look somewhat decent. So basically, I'm gonna go ahead, go to Costco, get some gas, because uh, the gas price is ridiculous, it's like 450 at Costco. It's like almost five bucks at like a shell. So anyways, that's that. And then we're gonna go ahead and head over and get a car wash. Just get a you know a simple little car wash with some good pictures. And then we'll head over to the bay. Hopefully it should be done. All right, let me see if I can go ahead and set you guys up real quick. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super stoked. First road trip in the M3, getting some cool pictures, and uh, getting the first car wash. Let's do it.
for the greatness It's a message about patience What it really takes to make this Working on a day-to-day -day basis No free spaces Can't afford to sit back and watch When someone else in this world Is trying to take my spot And I know that I'll be just fine Every day it seems I just pass on time Never get a break to sit and recline But I can't afford to lose my mind No, no All right, guys, so i um, leaving. Well, I'm not leaving my cousin's house just yet. We're actually gonna go get some photos. Hopefully it comes out pretty sick. I'm gonna throw in a couple photos right now. First time trying to get pictures. It is raining, so your boy out here, he's gonna die, but it's worth it for y'all. Why do I feel lost in this? And they don't know that I got me. And they don't say that we are free. Living a life where we gonna be. Hope you guys enjoyed the pictures. I'm heading home right now. Hopefully, we should be able to get the car wrapped up, get everything situated, throw the dash in, get everything situated before Beamer Fest. We got approximately like only eight days before Beamer Fest. So we gotta, we gotta get the grind going, boys. Um, so yeah, catch y'all when I'm home and I'm safe. Got about a two and a half hour drive because of traffic. Brushing off the cobwebs, open on my notebook I'ma let my soul speak out, leave this globe shook I've been down the way too long, but they chose to Soon as I told you, damn I told you Have you ever wondered what it's like To work on something you can't see and never sleep at night Every step you taking forward always take you down a flight People praying on your downfall approach you so polite like Alright guys, and now we're at the end of the video You know, your boys always just like Freaking intros and outros. You guys probably saw me in the beginning. Now you see me in the end. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. We are literally like six days away from Beamer Fest, which is super crazy. So we have so much to do. We gotta finish up the rear bumper, we gotta put on the spoiler. Uh, we got a few things coming up from a few other companies trying to help out the build before Beamer Fest. We have we had to put in the dash. Um, we gotta pretty much, you know, retrofit the CIC. I mean this, yeah, the CIC. Um, detail the interior, detail the whole car, get some new tires. We're just super happy that overall I drove it four or five hours the last day or two and it, it drove pretty well, no issues. The fan is um, out of balance like you guys stated. You guys said if you put too much on one side, it will off balance it. It is off balance, the car vibrates a little bit when the AC is on. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna deal with this for now because the fans are not cheap, guys. They're, t they're like four to 500 bucks. I just can't find a used one anywhere. Um, so yeah, four to 500 bucks. Not my budget range. Um, your boy is way past that budget. I don't want to use the money that you guys donated for the paint job on the fan. It's not necessary. I'm putting that all in my savings. So when I actually get my end of the deal for the paint job, I can go ahead and pull that money out of the savings so we can do the paint job properly. But yeah, CM3, it's a little bit of a money pit. Ain't gonna lie, but you know, I love it. I hope you guys enjoy the car and I hope you guys enjoy the amount of content it's gonna bring you guys in the next couple days. So yeah, without further ado, love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words and I put them all together in cause I wanna have worth.